Hi, I'm Siobhan Byrne and welcome to your VHI Women's Mini Marathon Training Plan. Today we're going to demonstrate 12 exercises that you can be doing as part of your training plan over the next four weeks. Now your training plan will appear every Monday in the Irish Independence Health and Living magazine, on independent.ie and on the VHI Women's Mini Marathon Training app. Each week we will introduce three new strength training exercises to complement your running plan. So let's get started. This exercise is called plank jacks. Maya is starting with hands in neutral shoulder width apart, coming up onto her toes, feet together, nice flat back, and we want, don't want too, pressure, too much pressure on the lower back, so keeping the tummy nice and tight. And she's gonna start by going into jacks, jumping the two feet out together and back. Perfect. Keep the tummy tight throughout the exercise, and don't worry if the bottom is slightly raised once the torso is nice and tight. So this exercise is called a hip raise. As you see, Maya's flat on the floor, her hands down by her side, stabilizing. Her neck is in a nice neutral position with her head looking straight up to the ceiling. Her knees are bent and her feet are flat on the floor, about shoulder width apart. She's going to start by raising her hips up to form a straight line, squeezing the glutes and then dropping them down. Nice and strong, straight up, dropping them down and really squeeze the glutes on this exercise. This exercise is called a close push-up. Maya's gonna start by getting into position. And if you notice from this position, her fingers are touching and also her thumbs are touching. Now she's gonna start on her toes. Perfect, her back is nice and flat. Her tummy is tucked in nice and tight. And unlike a regular push-up, you're really primarily working off the tricep here on this exercise. She's gonna allow her body dip down towards the floor with the elbows out. And then on the push-up, back to neutral position. Nice flat back, perfect. And if you're struggling with this exercise, you can actually do the beginner version, which is on the knees. This exercise is a jumping squat. This exercise is a really good plyometric exercise, great for running and really great for engaging the glutes and the quads. So we're going to start by Maya going into that squat position. And as she's there, she's going to jump up and fire the legs up as she jumps in the air. Perfect, it's very important to keep your back nice and straight throughout the exercise, your tummy nice and strong, and your hands can be either on your hips or at the side of your body. Excellent. This exercise is a lying superman. This exercise is a great exercise for your back, especially with all that running. So Maya's gonna start her head pointing down. She's on the front. Her two hands are straight out in front and her two feet are just about a couple of inches apart at the bottom. She's gonna start by raising the feet and hands up at the same time, extending the back and back to start position. Great, you can see all the muscles really working there in the back. And relax. Great. This exercise is called a diamond crunch. Um, we're going to start when Maya's lying flat on her back. Her soles of her feet are together and her knees are spread out. She's going to start with her hands above chest height. Again, this issue with the neck, you want to keep the neck in a nice neutral position, almost an apple under the chin effect and looking straight up to the ceiling to keep the neck nice and straight. From there, she's going to crunch up and back down towards the floor. Perfect, keep your soles nice and tight together throughout this exercise and rest. Great. So this exercise is called close stance deep squat. So Maya's gonna start nice and straight, her feet hip width apart, hands down by her side, keeping the tummy and the core nice and tight. And she's going to squat down into deep squat position. And you'll notice when she squats down, her quads are actually coming below parallel. That's exactly what we want. And squeezing the glutes, great exercise for running, really to engage a lot of muscles within the legs. This exercise is called a Spider-Man. I love this exercise. It really focuses on, on the obliques, which is great for running. So Maya's starting in like a plank position. Her hands are about shoulder width apart. Her feet are about hip to shoulder width apart as well. And she's going to start by pressing down towards the ground. As she presses towards the ground, she's going to be bringing her right knee up to her right elbow and then swapping sides. Perfect, you can really see the obliques really hitting in here. Perfect. Now, what you want to make sure is you're keeping the back nice and straight throughout the exercise, and you're also getting that nice little press at the start, really working the obliques. 
So this exercise is a quad hip abduction. So we're going to start with a nice flat back positioning, okay? Tummy nice and tight in, that keeps the back nice and straight. On our knees and on our hands, our hands are shoulder width apart. And we're gonna start with bringing the knee out to the side, about hip height, and then back to start position, but not resting. Now it's very important that we're trying to keep the back as straight as possible throughout the exercise. Perfect, and we're really concentrating in at the side of the glutes. Perfect. And don't forget the opposite side as well. So this exercise is an in-out squat jump. Maya is going to start in a semi-squat position, which is perfect. Knees not coming far beyond the shoes. That's perfect. And basically from here, she's going to jump in the air and then land in a split squat position. So we'll show you this part first. And then from there, she's going to come back into the air into a jump and land in the semi-squat position going into a full squat. Perfect. So the tempo of this exercise should be as follows. Excellent. Now, when Maya's doing that, you can see her core is nice and tight. She hasn't got too much lean forward in the body and she's keeping her back straight throughout the exercise, looking straight ahead. Excellent. This exercise is a uni glute bridge. I love this exercise, really great exercise for your bum and your glutes. So we're gonna start Maya's flat on the floor. Her knees are bent and her feet are flat as well. Head is in a nice neutral position. And we're gonna start, she's stabilizing herself on her arms there. She's going to bridge her hips up, so squeezing the glutes nice and tight, keeping the tummy nice and flat at this angle. And then she's going to extend one leg straight out and drop the hips down, keeping this leg nice and straight, dipping down and squeezing the glutes each time you come up. And we won't forget the opposite side. So rest this leg down, Maya. And we're going to change sides. So starting and squeeze the glutes. Perfect. And rest. Excellent. This exercise is called a V-up. Maya's going to lean back onto her hands, keeping the tummy tight, her knees bent, her feet flat, but just starting to come up just at the top. And basically what she's going to do is come up into a V, knees and chest together, and rotate back out. Perfect, now you want to keep your head in a nice neutral position throughout the exercise, and don't jerk the neck forward. Perfect. So those are the exercises. What I want you to bear in mind over the next few weeks is the importance of you actually consistently doing your training plan. So don't miss sessions as it's very hard to keep up on your training if you do. We're going to be constantly changing up your strength training exercises so that you will find they're more tough as you get on. Best of luck guys.